actually i'll tell you since when i actually decided to be an actor really? i was 12 really? uh i was 12 when i uh, the first time i went on stage was when i was in school uh and it was a you know do a school gathering <laughs> with you it was part of that mm-hmm. and that's the first time i went on stage as an actor and i had that epiphany that this is it nothing has ever made me as happy as just being on stage and performing and uh, this is what i want to do but nobody takes a 12 year old seriously right like who will matlab ghar ja ke bolungi mujhe acting karni hai to sab bolenge ha theek so i mean unless you go and say like take legit career uh, options in front of them like legit according to them yeah. ki doctor banna hai ya engineer banna hai i even went through a phase of be wanting to be a cid officer by the way but again that was because of cid so it somehow just went back to you know acting and uh, so uh, they didn't really take me seriously my gra- i live with my grandparents uh, so it's even it's a the bigger now. generation gap so my parents were always game but because i live with my grandparents it was important for me to have them on board right. uh, and then it it took a little bit of time to like convince him in fact even the first year when i full i started doing this full time it was probably in 2014 i told him just like just give me a few months and if this doesn't work out for me i promise that i'll find another way to like you know sustain but this is definitely something i want to give it a chance because it just feels like this is what i want to do and uh, this is what i'm meant to be doing because i ran away from it for very long it's it's really important to have one in order to give you some sort of a direction uh more than anything else of course the technicalities and everything which is what we learn in a school will come with it but more importantly you just need some sort of a direction which is why a school is important in my opinion i never went to a school my learning most of my learning happened at hesco at by just sitting observing by attending workshops by uh in fact i was i was a point of contact for the workshop participants right so then i got to be just sitting in the room for That all the so workshops so just like sit and observe which was helpful i auditioned a lot uh which became my school also so i i love auditioning i still audition by the way so i'm i'm just saying it's endless i really do still audition so um but it's a great learning in fact i miss it like the the time that i'm not auditioning and people just come to me with work i miss it like i miss auditioning um yeah so essentially that's how i got in uh, touch with all of these guys and tesco not a lot of people know but a lot of people have stemmed out of this festival yes. including nimrat kaur neelu palam anand tiwari shweta oh. tripathi like the, the the list is and richa chadda ali fazal all of these names are tesco we are all tesco alumni and we have all been part of tesco and we have all come from there and that's where i met all of these guys in fact akash khurana who's directed me in karwa i met him at tesco so every everything i owe it like owe yeah, everything to tesco it goes back to tesco two of my mentors who i still go to uh kwasar thakur padamsi and koral shah from tesco so um i networked a lot over there that's where in fact when shweta met me she realized that i'm trying to be an actor and i'm also quite directionless and did not know what to do she in fact called me for an audition because she was the associate casting director on katti vatti which is my first film and uh, so shweta called me and said hey we are auditioning for this and i was really worried because it was my first ever film audition and first ever film and that too with like nikhil advani and um and queen had just released so i was in awe of kangana so that there was another pressure that you to work in front of her but i said what's there to lose the worst that can happen is i'm not going to get through but i get to audition and i think you know guys the key is basically which is what something i've learned on the job that once you audition you get put on their database right so if now for example i auditioned for mukesh chhabra which is the company casting company that was casting for katti vatti even if i didn't get through chal so let's say I, but i have audition for other things that i have not gotten through at mukesh chhabra's casting company so if i audition for something and even if i don't get through i'm still on their database so agar kal kuch aur aata hai project that they think i fit just fine for they will always call me back so that helps 
it that is a part of networking also and especially when you don't have a backing that's the best way to go about it just meet people get to know what they're doing attend a lot of workshops because that's also something that you learn from and meet new people at so uh, that's it so uh, my journey basically has started at thespo and because right. i met all of these people and anand tiwari i met at thespo and we worked on a show called girl in the city together because right. he produced it and he called me for an audition he so he just helps to network just get to know as many people right so uh, this guy called argya lahiri who who is like the light maestro in the light designer of a lot of plays he does a lot of theater again part of kwasar tourals gang um he once we were sorting gels out like light gels out uh-huh. with together and he was teaching me that because i mean i had time and i was helping him sort them out and he said you know just like unsolicited advice you probably not even ask me this but just say just just remember and it has come in handy a lot know your lines really well before you go on set because the emotions then you can play with when you already know your lines and then you're not struggling with both those things right your emotions you can get in you can then if your director asks you to do something differently then you can but line hi pata nahi hai to tum kya kya hi karoge so it is very very important. like that has come and he told me this when i was shooting for katti but so which means that this has stayed with me until today i'm glad you pointed it out because it's a very important lesson you have to learn your lines uh, i think the biggest lesson that all of this teaches you like when you start from like you know lifting okay. chairs you have done i've lifted chairs in person in the to just like work in production work backstage then make your way on stage and all of these things it's very important because the most important lesson you learn is humility and humility takes you a very very long way no matter how successful how big you are it's very important to be a good human being and to be a very humble human being and this may come across as a very philosophical lesson but it is an important life lesson that i have been learning on the job and it's very very you will lose respect for a person the minute he shows his he or she shows the uh, kind of yeah arrogance just doesn't work humility go, takes you a long long way and of course technically it's very important to know things on stage you have to go take take, take your light. light like you to st- i have been so bad at it i still struggle with it our guest still shouts at me for it but i have struggled with taking the light uh, on camera it's easier because you are lit for a scene specifically like the scene is lit specifically for you like so that you are seen on stage lights are just spotted on your you have to step make sure that you're taking light no job is a small job another thing that you learn learn and you have to hold on to since if you start there is that no job is a small job and you learn to be respectful of every single human being working towards making your project successful it may just be the guy who's getting you water on on set every day but that's a very important job it's just my process is just to read talk to my writer talk to my director understand what they want from what they are expecting aur utre to hum dumb nahi hote na utna to yeah. you get to know what your character is trying to do or what the story yeah. is and you know what you have to know that's where my learning comes from uh, a lot of workshopping has helped i uh, did like a short course uh, in la when i was just visiting my sister for a vacation and i decided to do something because i was getting bored at my vacation so i thought uh, it was a long like i think i was with her for 3 months so the first month i enjoyed it and then i was like Okay, now I need to do something. So I was in LA and I took up this course called a Stella Adler acting technique. Right. Stella Adler is one of one of the techniques that you know that you if you want to learn learn. Or like it's, it's a, I mean, yeah, 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 yeah. So Chekhov and all of the all of these are like teachers who've come up with their own techniques, and Stella Adler is being one of them. And Stella Adler's technique is something that I resonate with a lot, and she tells you to live in the moment. If it has come, you know that's something that I have. I don't know if you guys have seen my TEDx talk, but that's something that I said on that talk. Is that you will not give up. My goal was to become an actor, and it still is to become an actor. It still is to be a better actor than what I was yesterday. 
it still is to hone my craft my end game is not becoming a bollywood star or a hollywood star or an internet sensation as i have been labeled that if all of this happens organically in the process great but am i becoming a better actor than what i was from my last project or from like what i did yesterday that for me is success not and it's very important for me secondly um uh, coming back to the direct story i said i said this that um you have to go home from point a to your home now just because a rickshaw wala rejected you 20 times you're not going to give up on going home right and rickshaw walas do reject us 20 times you know <laughs> So, but that doesn't stop you from going back home. You'll find another way. You'll you'll take a bus. You'll take a train. You'll walk if you need to. You'll cycle. You'll take a lift. Find your way to get to that. If if, if rickshaw wala says no, okay, there's always another rickshaw wala who's waiting to get it. If you don't, and what has essentially worked for me is my gut feeling. And guys, I swear to God, your gut will always tell you what works for you and what doesn't. your gut will always know and if you even like have a inkling of that instinct that this is just this is not where i want to go move in the opposite direction because you will be right about it yeah which is very important that you believe in yourself because if you don't nobody does and nobody will if you dare to dream just you just have to take the plunge and that's it and nothing comes easy there is no discount for hard work so whatever like nice things that you see about people outside or like who according to you are successful whether it's an actor an astronaut or anybody they've not reached where they've reached without hard work <coughs> everything takes effort and there's no shortcuts to anything so there's no discount to hard work you have to be prepared for anything that comes your way